Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I'm your Gaming Monk for the evening. So, Blizzard Entertainment. The nuclear winter has certainly become a nuclear apocalypse lately, hasn't it? All it took was one banning in Hearthstone for one of the more respected gaming companies, whose name used to be a seal of approval for gamers everywhere, is now looked at like a joke. All in the span of a week. Now, I could go into the whole story, but that's beyond the scope of this video, and I've already well covered what went down very recently on Monastery Live. In the wake of all that happened, I started seeing the hashtag Boycott Blizzard getting a bit of traction, especially after May became an unofficial symbol of the Hong Kong protests. However, I find that merely boycotting could be taken a step further. After all, if one is to destroy, they need to rebuild, lest the gaping hole cause further problems. Now, using myself as an example, when I put Wizards of the Coast on my blacklist, I filled the void left behind with D&D with 13th Age, among many other games, and the Void left by Magic the Gathering with Force of Will and Keyforge. In the same vein, I think it vital to highlight games that can provide that alternative feeling, if not the name. In the spirit of that, I present my own little hashtag, Blizzard Alternative. As the name suggests, instead of saying, I'm never playing X, instead go with, I'm replacing X with Y. Let's go with some of their bigger franchises for some examples. For an Overwatch alternative, go for Paladins. While the game isn't exactly polished in some places, it's an interesting mix of hero shooter and MOBA. It's certainly got a learning curve to it, but the use of talents and equipment means that playing as heroes isn't the rock, paper, scissors problem that Overwatch suffers from. For an alternative to Diablo? Oh, you got a lot of options there. I wouldn't go full on and say it's a boom period, but the ARPG market right now is pretty competitive due to the number of quality entries of late. Torchlight 2, Warhammer Chaos Bane, Grim Dawn, Victor Vran, Asura, Last Epoch, and plenty of others are abound. For an alternative to Hearthstone, I'd recommend looking into Eternal. Its UI isn't too far off, and while there's some relearning to handle, it's not completely unfair from what I've seen. I'll probably be streaming that in the future. For an alternative to World of Warcraft, much as it pains me to blacklist WoW Classic after having such high hopes for it, there's buy-to-play options like Guild Wars 2, Black Desert, or the recently released Archage Unchained as well as subscription-based entries like Final Fantasy XIV. Lastly, for an alternative to StarCraft, that's a bit tricky, since most RTS games are going to be more interested in presenting their own specific style rather than trying to emulate Warcraft or StarCraft, mostly because they know that's a fight they can't win. But a few alternatives look worth looking into are the Spellforce series, a nice mix of RTS and RPG, Conan Unconquered, which is made by the same team that did Command & Conquer, Golem Gates, and Re Legion. This is, of course, a small sampling, but I wanted to show that lamenting the state of the AAA business end of things is no reason to quit the hobby. There's plenty of alternatives out there, you just have to find it. These days, that's easier than ever. Stay frosty!